Welcome to Unboxing China. I'm Nancy, and this is my guest host for today, Alex. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. So winter is here. We can feel the sun's warmth fading, but what's inside this box is something to hold on to the sun's energy. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a blue metallic box. I think it looks like a battery. Exactly, and it is deeply related to this city. Let's go somewhere that will show us more about it. Let's go. The city we're in, Ordos, is known for having rich natural resources. I think I heard that name. It's a brand, no? It's Kashmir brand. Exactly. And Kashmir is actually one of the gifts Ordos received from the nature. And you can see that bright sunshine over here and the vast land that we're standing on. In the fact, there are so many solar panels here. I think it's the best way to using the bright sunshine and the space we have. That exactly. Standing here, it's clear Ordos is soaking up the sun, getting around 3,000 hours of sunshine each year. That makes it sunnier than most of the cities in China. So actually, that battery you were holding was the key to tap into nature's green energy. And today we will see how Ordos does it as an industry, and more importantly, how they weave green energy into everyday life. So our journey begins here in Ordos, more than district of Kangbashi. And we will have a very special guest who will guide us through this journey. It is the clean energy driverless bus of Kangbashi. It is coming over for us. Oh. If we are here, it's gonna like automatically open. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, it's really warm here. <laughs> we have everything in need, all those like heaters, the sensors, just to keep us safe and smooth the ride. Yeah, it's very comfortable. I want to take a nap now. Yes! What's written here? It says like automatically driving. It's gonna do all the like street cleaning work. I want one for my own like district in France. <laughs> I wonder how it gets the energy though. And I think they are all powered by electricity so it's like clean energy. I always think it's funny to see some the wheel? Yeah, moving itself. Mm -hmm. Sort of like 10 years ago, it's still in sci-fi movies and now it's coming to reality. Box park. This is a map. Seven cars right now. Yeah. We can see their specific type. This one's moving. Yeah, yeah I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it changed to the other vending vehicle. I want to order some food from the... <laughs> These are all the things they have. Oh! <laughs> oh! I like can shoes now! Oh, lemon, lemon, I will try lemon. So I need to pick my, close the door. Six yuan. Oh, we have location here with the map and everything. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so sweet. I think we have enough snack. Now we can share. There is something more about the like more than green or this lifestyle that I want to introduce you about. So look over there, what you see. Well, there's a parking lot. I guess the cars are charging. On the rooftop, there are some solar panels. The Kambashi district has tons of these systems on rooftops and in parking lots with a total capacity of 3 megawatts. That's a cut of more than 3,000 tons of carbon emissions. Okay, very ecological <laughs> right. way of seeing that yeah. right just by living under these roofs and parking their cars in these parking lots people are adding to the green energy bus wow the sun is so strong yeah it looks like Odos is harvesting and using the sun power very well exactly and the vast land of this city is hosting many more incredible pv projects Wow, it's so immense. I wonder how many panels there are here and how much electricity they can produce. I actually heard there are around 3.6 million solar panels in this farm and they generate around 2 billion kilowatt hours of electricity each year. Assuming an average Chinese family of three uses around 2,700 degrees of electricity annually, this farm could support more than 700,000 families every year. But for more information about this farm, we will meet a guest in the farm.
。咱们现在所处的位置，从俯瞰形状，就是一个旧马地站，从这个传统能源逐渐的转变为一个新能源。感觉给我们这就是整个整个鄂尔多斯是增光嘛，而且这个增光可能也是光伏的光，也是这个光彩的光。So we've seen how green life grows in orders and what fuels that vibe. Now we're at the birthplace that made it all happen, the world's first net zero industrial park. Does it mean that it generates zero carbon emission? Right. So activities inside those factories are powered by the sun and the wind. And inside these factories, on those production lines, we've got the latest in solar panels, power batteries, energy storage, electric heavy-duty trucks, and battery materials. Alex, products like this battery you are holding are the keys to changing natural resources into everyday products. And next to us is a real-life example of it. Yes,、yeah, so this is a full electric generated truck. I heard it can last up to 200 kilometers. Yeah, and this place we are standing—it's like a gas station, but the electric version. Once the truck enters the station, the giant battery on the truck will be automatically replaced with a new one, and the used battery will get recharged inside the station, ready for reuse. And this way, it's more efficient. Exactly. Renewable energies have always played a big part in major global events. And as the COP28 is here, it's the right time for us to talk about climate, talk about new energies, things like that. Even in winter, the sun's rays are beaming bright in Oradors. And what's truly impressive is the locals' efforts to harness the sunlight, advocating a green lifestyle, making the leap to green energy, and nurturing a blossoming green industry. Waters is showcasing its dedication to global climate action. So I can see that here, people paid huge effort to protect the environment. I hope in a better future, people around the world from different cities and countries can pay as much as effort as here. Yeah, that's all for today's unboxing China. We hope you enjoyed our green journey as much as we did, and we will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye. bye. bye.